On the dish this morning, world-renowned vegan chef Matthew Kenny. He grew up on the rugged coast of Maine and developed a love of the great outdoors as well as nature's bounty. After culinary school and an award-winning career in the New York restaurant world, he shifted his focus and became a pioneer in the plant-based food movement. Kenny now operates seven vegan restaurants around the world, including Plant Food and Wine in Los Angeles and Miami, and Double Zero here in New York, where he brings a healthy perspective to one of the world's most popular foods pizza chef matthew kenny welcome good morning thank Thanks you good morning here. pleasure tell us about this table so we have a few dishes from our various restaurants that's a yuzu guacamole mm. um, from our new restaurant plant house in miami beach uh, roasted cauliflower with green harissa and pomegranate we have a few pizzas from double zero from our wood oven Yum. Um, a classic margarita with cashew mozzarella that's a farro sausage and this is a sunflower um, basil pesto. Gorgeous. These are tree nut cheeses, so fermented cashew uh, with probiotic and uh, a lot of different condiments. This is a, um, a plant-based apple pie that we created for our Thanksgiving dinner in Los Angeles at Plant Food and Wine out there. So it's an array of our different... And, and we have vegan cocktails, which are just yes. regular Te cocktails. Te too. Tequila, <laughs> tequila is plant-based for sure. <laughs> This vegan thing might work out for both of us. <laughs> and food and wine, yeah. <laughs> well, you did not start out as a vegan chef, right? I started out hunting when I was a child on wow. the coast of Maine, and I was a classically trained chef, so the first thing I learned how to do was filet and butcher and, and cook everything from duck to lamb, you name it. What was the turning point? It was a long process listening to my body. I was very much into yoga, health and wellness. I, I love food and dining and wine, but I also love optimal health. and. I thought the two could come together, you know, making healthy food really exciting and colorful and bold. So I, I just took the plunge about 13 years ago and changed my entire direction. Wow. Even before that, Matthew, you were you were actually working at Christie's and studying law. And so what what turned you to food then? Well, I moved to New York planning to go to law school after college, worked at Christie's and I would go on my lunch breaks. Everybody else would go to a cafe and have lunch. Yeah. I would walk around looking at restaurants, reading menus. I was just addicted <laughs> to yeah. something about restaurants was calling me and um, I just loved the idea of a platform where you can be so creative on creating design, yeah. the atmosphere, music, food, and it just, uh, it was a way to be social. I'm a little bit of an introvert. It was a way to be very social <laughs> without being fully exposed. <laughs> so I, I just loved the idea of it. And, and when you did get into the restaurant world, you trained in some very prestigious institutions. You yourself have opened up a raw food culinary institute. Tell us about how that came about. We opened the first uh, state accredited culinary school in 2009 and now we have schools permanent or temporary uh, in New York, LA, Miami, uh, Sydney, Paris, Stockholm, London, Wow. Um, Berlin coming, Tokyo. So we're doing schools all over the world and online. We've had several thousand students graduate. We're trying to teach them how to to do exactly what we do which is create healthy food that actually tastes good and will help people eat better. More and more chefs are embracing vegetarian menus. Do you think dining attitudes have changed? Dramatically. I mean, if you look in, even in New York, for example, which may be a little behind L.A. in terms of people embracing plant-based, uh, Jean-Georges von Grichten just opened, I know he's been on the mm -hmm. show, he just opened ABCV, which is a vegetarian Delicious. restaurant. Delicious. Yeah. Stop by there after this. <laughs> and. Um, and you know, it's, it's packed and all the new healthy places are packed. And I think it's changing very quickly. I think there's a major tipping point happening where plant-centric will be the norm, not you know, something that's just once, once in a while. What about the business of it in terms of sourcing the, the vegetables and the fruits and the necessary ingredients? Has that landscape changed? It has. Um, there are products on the market now that weren't even on the market five or six years ago. When I started plant-based uh, 12 or 13 years ago, you couldn't even find raw cacao beans. And, you know, now they're everywhere, even huh. probably at Publix in, in Miami. So products are there. Farmers markets are proliferating everywhere. People are more aware of organic and local and sustainable. Um, it all starts with the product. That's the most important. You have seven restaurants now. You're opening two more. We're opening in London. Um, and we're opening uh, another one in California. We have four in California, yeah. LA, New York. How, how's a consumer different in London, New York, or California? Uh, you know, California's so health friendly. Um, but New York, double zero, we went with pizza instead of, you know, more raw, high end food because we thought, you know, New York, it's, it needs an all year round place. Um, it's worked really well. Double zero has been full since we opened. Great. Um, Miami's been an incredible market for us. People are really embracing it, and we didn't expect that because it was so, such a culture of enjoying meat and uh, hedonism. You know, yeah, influence <laughs> from that. And, but it's really been like our one of our best markets. Um, Those beach bods, vegan yeah. food is good exactly. for that, right? Um, let, as I ask you to sign the dish, as we customarily do on the show, 
I will ask you to answer the question we always pose, which is if you could share this meal with anyone past or present, who would you share it with, Chef? It would be my parents. I, I want to always give them as much healthy food as possible. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very sweet thing to do as a son. Thanks. And a delicious thing to do. Chef Matthew Kenny, thank you. And for more on Matthew Kenny and the dish, head to our website at cbsthismorning.com.